this video, we are going to cover how to add social links anywhere on your website. So let's say if you want to add it in your navigation or on your page or in your footer way at the bottom, wherever you want to add it, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to settings. And then from there, we're going to click on social links. Now, once you're in here, you're able to do a lot. All you have to do is start typing in the URL that you want to add and go from there. So in this case, I'm going to add Instagram. Now I'm just adding Instagram.com. You would be adding your specific handle here, but I am just going to add this and press enter. And you'll see actually before I press enter, the Instagram icon already showed up. So I'll just press enter and now it has been added and I already have it turned on to show up in the navigation. So you see here it already showed up, which is awesome. From there, I could add another social link. I'm going to add Facebook now. There we go. Enter. You'll see it will refresh the page. Again, it adds it immediately. And then from here, I'm going to add Twitter. So just like that, I have added three social links. You can see they already show up here. We're going to look at how to add it to the page in a moment. But at the same time, you could add a lot here. So I'm going to click on this, learn more, and let's see what we can add. Okay. So this is quite extensive. You could add a lot of different logos from podcasts, Behance, CodePen, Dribble, Facebook. There is a lot. Just go through the list. You could see so many things here that you can add. All right. So once we're set up here, I'm just going to go back to the home screen. And then in here, I'm going to start working on the editor. So I am on the home page. I'm going to click edit and get into the actual editor where you see all these blue uh, lines showing up. All right, so hover over your navigation and it'll say edit site header. You could click on this. Once you click on that, you'll want to go to elements. Make sure you're in the global tab here and then click on elements. And then here you could see our social links are turned on. And so if I turn it off, you'll see it disappear. If I turn it back on, they show up. Now, a moment ago we had Twitter uh, and that's because I removed it. This is one funny feature. There are some features on Squarespace that are global on your entire website and some that are not, and they don't really do a good job of specifying which is which. So I came in here and I said, oh, maybe I just want Instagram and Facebook to show up at the top here. Well, if you delete one of them, if I click on this and remove, well, it removes it from the entire site or from all the other areas where social links show up. So let me paste Twitter back in and add that. And now it's there. So it's a bit unfortunate, but that is the way it works. Those social links that you add will show up anywhere on your site, wherever you add them. Okay, so let's say you wanna add your social links anywhere on your website. Let's say your homepage, your about page, your contact page, whatever it may be, let's do that now. So we're still in the editor at the moment. And what you wanna do is just hover over the page wherever you want to add it. Find that plus sign and click on that plus sign. And then in here, it gives you a bunch of options. And what you'll do is you'll just start typing in the word social. You could look for it, but this is what you're looking for. So social links, click on that and you'll see it adds it right away. From there, you have options of design. There are three different options with multiple different variations of that. So you could play through these and see what you like, um, dependent on the styling that you prefer and where you'd like it to go and the size. So I'm just gonna keep it like that for now and we're good to go. So now you've just added it, it's there and I'm gonna hit save. And the way this works natively is once I click on it, it'll always open it in a new tab and then open up that page. So if I click on any of these icons, it'll take me to that specific account on a new tab. All right, so I wanna make one note about blog posts or products. If you want your user, the person who is accessing your website to be able to share a post or share a product on their social media accounts, that process is a little bit different. So the way we do that is let's just go to this random blog post here. And let's say you want to give someone the opportunity to share this. Well, you don't want to add your social links here that just links them to your social accounts. If you want them to be able to share this, you want to add share options. Now on Squarespace 7.0, this was native on Squarespace 7.1, it is not. I don't know why, but it just is not. So there are a few tools out there you can use. The one I recommend is this website here, sharethis, sharethis.com. 
It is really easy to use. As you could see here, they offer you options for how to share your posts. So you could share this specific page um, and get these on your site. The cool part about this tool as well is it's free. So it's really easy to use and uh, add to your website. I'm not gonna go over that in this video because it has its own nuances, but just so you have a uh, understanding of the difference, you could come here, use a tool like this or find other tools that you like. So you could add social sharing options to your blog posts, to your products, uh, to your events, any of that. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit that like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also lets me know that you got value from this video. And if you did get value from this video and you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish new videos every single week. Friday at 1 p.m. we post a new video, if not multiple videos throughout the week. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, but I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.